And welcome to another episode of Fleetwood Town. It's your host, Matt Ten. How we doing, everybody? Hey, episode 20. We're finally here. Woohoo! I'm excited. I don't know if you're excited, but I'm excited. Um, definitely pumped up. Got a little bit more coffee in me than usual. And, you know, this is what happens. We're going to go play a little Fleetwood against Northampton. Um... God, this is going to be live commentary, so I apologize if I say weird things. I don't know. I'm kind of weird when I do live commentary, so here we go. So let's look at the team. We have Jordan uh, right back. We're going to put in Beely. He's back from loan. Brown, is Murdoch back yet? And Murdoch's still not back yet, so it looks like I'm going to play Matty Blair right there. Matty Blair, and then Evans. You know what, there's the one thing I miss about DeSaruvoe is that he had some speed on him on the right side. And I can get Evans out of there, but I'm going to have to play. Actually, we've got Ralte. He's new. We're going to do that little switcheroo. Schumacher's not feeling too great, but he might have to tough it out because I don't have too much to choose from. Um, Man, guys, as you can see, I really didn't take advantage of the transfer window. And it shows. And... Okay. This is going to be a weird one. Sarsavik. And then I'm going to put Mr. Forte right there. Actually, you know what? Not Forte. Let's go ahead and put um, David Ball. Davies is going to come out as well. Lucas is going to start there. So, um, you can also put some guys up there that are, aren't as fatigued. Like Brown's out. I'm going to keep Schumacher, and he's always that kind of, you know, spunk, kind of extra, what is it, you know, extra chance to score a goal. I mean, because that guy can score goals, we know that. So, here we go, guys. So, last episode, we just played horribly. One point out of three matches, guys. We really need to step it up now. To be on Matt, good pressure. Oh, there's a new boy with Ralte. Can he shot? He does! That's a goal! Lyron Decky Ralte. I gotta remember his name. I've been just calling him Larry. Larry Ralte. Look at that. He steals the ball off the defender. What a shot that is. His debut goal. How about that? Fleetwood Town. Here's Matty Blair. He's gonna find Beely. Beely's gonna, is he gonna send it in? He does. Looking for Jeff Hughes with the turnaround shot, and it's no good. Carter's pressured well by the new boy Fiola, and again, good job by the new center back there. Nathan Pond definitely has lost his spot, but there's a good ball there to Deegan, who's gonna hit that shot, and it's saved by Lucas. Here's Carter. Harder to Deegan. The visitors starting to gain a little momentum. And there's Fiola not really doing well with the ball. And there's another shot here. DeMont Agnac. I don't even know. I know I don't like you because you scored on me. Man. That's just inaccurate clearances. Fiola not clearing the ball very well. And that's what you get. You get conceded. So Northampton Town have tied the match up, guys. Fiola hasn't played terribly. He's been a little iffy with his touches. I think that's why he's a defender. But either way, guys, we need to play a lot better than that. Here's Demetagna, the goal scorer for Northampton Town. And that's an out ball there to Carter. Carter, can he send it in? Oh no, what a save by Lucas. And then cleared by Fiola and Sarsovic is going to finish the job. Good touch, first touch there by Ralte, but doesn't really get rid of it. But Taylor gets it back. Who's he going to find? Looking for Sarsovic. It's actually going to be a foul on Northampton. This is a great position for Jeff Hughes. Let's see if he's going to take the shot. He does, and it's a looper. Didn't look like he had much power on it. It was also high and probably pretty wide. 
Lucas sends it up. Looking for David Ball, who's been pretty quiet today. Jameel Matt hasn't, though. He's been all over the place. And here's Jameel Matt. Takes it from the defender. Can he fish? It's well saved. What is Roberts doing? <laughs> nice ball there to Jameel Matt, who finds Ralte. Ralte trying to take on Widowson, but he's well defended. Good job there by Ralte. Jamil Matt looks for him again. Who's Ralte going to find? Finds Jamil Matt again with the shot, and it is off the mark. Great play there by Ralte and Jamil Matt. And on comes Jonathan Forte, fresh after scoring his first goal for Fleetwood Town last weekend in the PK save that became a shot with his right foot, his weaker foot, by the way. Northampton Town trying to send it up. Well defended. Oh, and Tozer misplayed it there, but Forte here, can he come through? Forte on his favorite left side. Oh, it's well defended, but they still have the ball. Oh, man. Oh, but plays a good ball to Deegan. Here's Deegan. Drops it back to Donovan to shoot. It was actually Carter with the shot. Great play there by the visitors, Northampton Town. What a shot that is by Carter. But it's no good. Here's Matty Blair. What can he do with the ball? He's been a little quiet today, but he does find the runner, Ralte. And Ralte looks for Jeff Hughes. Can Fleetwood win it at the end? That's a great ball in, but it's too close to the keeper. Oh, man. And that's the end of the match. 1-1. One, one. All goals coming in the first half. A point apiece. And now we're going to travel to South End. South End United. So you know what that means. We change it to legendary, guys. So looking at our squad here from the last match. Looks like everybody's intact. Everybody's energized. I think I might just keep it that way. I'm going to give Forte a shot over Sarsavik. He hasn't been playing well at all. I like Ralte over there. He's going to take the play place of Jeff Hughes. And that's how we're going to play that game. Let's go for it. Here's Timlin again. He's definitely the playmaker for South End United. Somebody to really watch and be careful for. Here's Hurst. Hurst well defended by Brown. And that's what we were missing last match is that, you know, Matty Blair got a little fatigued towards the end. Really didn't play as well as, as we would hope he would play. He's a little bit better on the right side, a little bit on the wings. Um, I can't wait till Murdoch comes back to make up for Brown's absence when he's fatigued. Of course, I could just be better at managing fatigue levels. Oh, but they're backing off, and Woodrow finds himself in the box. That was way too simple. Looks like a miscommunication between Roberts and Fiola. But Woodrow had all day to finish that. Fleetwood Town losing already, guys. First finds Auger. Auger trying to find Laird. Laird's playing him inside, and there's Woodrow again behind the defense. What is Roberts and Fiola doing? Actually, Fiola was way up. It was actually between Roberts and Taylor. But man, guys, we're down 2 0. It's not the result we're looking for at all. Ralte, can he score maybe another butte? That'd be nice. He turns up and finds the ball to Evans. Can Evans finish? He can. We've got to go back, guys. We've got to go back. We've sprint to there. Let's go. Come on. Great play by Ralte to hold it up and finds the late run of Evans. Evans with the blistering shot. Here's Timlin again. He's so dangerous, guys. He loves to play that ball. Look at that. Can Woodrow have a hat trick? Oh, my God. Goodness. Oh. What is going on here? 
Woodrow has a hat trick before we're even 30 minutes into the match and Woodrow already has a hat trick just beating everybody down a Fleetwood Town defense legendary is no joke away from home but we're in 15th place guys we've got to get a result and it can't be anything else but here's Schumacher running in and he hits a shot and that's a great save That was a great save. What a great shot that is by Schumacher as well. Everything's just great, except for the score line. Oh, that's a poor throw in, and Woodrow's picked it up. Is he going to go by himself? He tries it. He's going for that fourth goal before halftime. Just holding up Fiola like he's not even there. Oh, Forte picks it up. Forte still has it. Can Forte finish? He can't finish. What a play by Forte. Cutting in on his right side. Right footed though. We know he's a lefty. But you still got to finish at the level you're playing at. That's well played there. Forte picks it up. And he can't finish again. This time with his favorite left foot. Clifford. Clifford still with it, tries to shoot. We cannot be taking these shots right now. We don't have much time to score again. Oh, with the shot there. Here's Bennett coming up from the center back roll. Clifford, nice turn. Oh, what a turn by Woodrow again. It's an own goal. It's an own goal. Steven Jordan trying to defend. Woodrow picked it up. What a turn that is by Woodrow and sends it there. Looking for the run of Leonard. And he finds the foot of Jordan and it's 4-1 to one, guys. Oh my goodness. That's the end of the match. And thank goodness because I don't want to be scored on for five times. Woodrow with the first half hat trick and then Jordan contributing his own way and giving an own goal in the 76. Evans great shot in the 20th minute after Woodrow's second goal, but that was all you can do guys. 4 to 1. What a defeat this was. And see what the board says after yesterday's disappointing result. The board feels it's important to encourage you to experiment with team dynamics. But rounding out this episode, guys, we're going to go ahead and check the table. And we have not dropped. We have stayed in 15th place. But 39 points, we need to at least get to top 10. 51 points is where the 10th place is right now. That's about 12 points. I don't know if I can make it. Uh, just not the way I'm playing. I don't know what to do. I might have to switch up the defense. Let me know what you think about for my club. I know what might have worked for you guys, you know, depending on who you use, but I don't know how many of you guys use a team like Fleetwood Town or those lower division clubs. Um, but the one thing I want to leave off with is just see how realistic my career mode compared to everybody else's. I'm not trying to brag. What I'm really saying is that it's it's important to know realism um, if this is what you want to watch. If you don't want to watch and you just want to see a bunch of skill moves and you want to see rage and people getting really upset because it's cool and British accents, no offense to British people, but go ahead and watch that. But, you know, what I will say, if you're going to follow our career mode, follow it for the realism and what it mimics in real life. You know, it's a video game, yeah, but those guys who go out of their way to make it look realistic, but then play unrealistically and get unrealistic results, I mean, you should call them out and be like, hey, maybe you should play this the way it should be played. Um, you know, and, and that's all I really want to say about that is that you guys know if you've subscribed to my channel, you know I update my sliders working on those. And as you can tell, they're quite the challenge. Legendary is really tough now. I might even consider not even doing that so I can keep my job to just stay on world class. I never thought I would have to do that, but it looks like I'm going to have to go that way. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed episode 20. I enjoyed making it. I didn't enjoy losing. I did enjoy... 
um, just making it and, uh, and getting some commentary in. Like I said, I've had a lot of coffee today um, and uh, hopefully it improves. I've noticed in the last couple of my videos um, or early on I was so monotone and that's not how I am in person. I think I, I you know, from the wife um, being nearby and the baby sleeping most of the time, I, you know, I was really trying out some different environments and now that we've moved and we're in a different location, um, I've actually got my own little um, man cave area so I'm actually able to to really talk um, a little bit louder and a little bit more energetic so hopefully that that works for you guys. I'd love to hear your comments below and what you think about everything. Um, and anyways, uh, take care. Stay tuned. I'll see you at episode 20 or 21. There we go. <laughs>